joining me here at the desk, and he says he has something very important on his mind, and certainly uh, I want to allow him that opportunity to speak. Well, Gordon, I certainly appreciate this opportunity. As a veteran and a true American, I think I have something everybody should see and hear what I have to say. I'm here to... Uh, defend Eric Emery. Everybody is calling him a liar, so to speak. The reason why he exposed this Iron Sheik is being from Iran. Now, Jim Dillon and the Sheik is saying that the man's a liar. Ladies and gentlemen, he's not a liar. The kid's not a liar. Well, he made these allegations last week. Uh, That's, this I understand. And the point is that that is a very serious allegation, and uh, he didn't have anything other than just his word. Okay, back. he didn't have anything because he didn't know how to get it. Now, there's American Freedom Act that you can go and get information on practically anything that you want to know about. Freedom and I have, Information Act. Yeah, Freedom of Information right, right, Act, right. yes. And I, I happen to know how to do this because I've got friends. Now, if you can get that camera in here real close, Mr. Cameraman, I want to show you the sheik. Let me introduce the sheik to, fr fr to you and you be the judge of where this man is from. Now, this, of course, is at a very, very young age. He's a very young age. He represented his country in the 68 Olympics. He's a very, very good athlete. Now, that's him, Iran. See that Iran there? Now, on this next picture here, Gordon, if I can just get this one down here. It certainly appears that it could be a young uh, uh, sheik. There's no question about that. Now, this, this photograph here, here he is. Now, of course, he has changed. He has gotten bigger. He's gotten heavier, of course, and he has shaved his head. But this photograph here, he presented a trophy by a general in the Iranian army. Now, when you're an athlete, a good athlete in Iran, the government takes care of you. Now, he was very well taken care of, I may add. Now, here, in the 68 Olympics in Mexico, there he is again. Plainly, it says Iran on his warm-up suit. There's the Russian, I, I recognize And there's the him. Russian yeah. weightlifter, the big weightlifter from Russia. Right. Alexis, whatever his name is. Yeah, the world champion. All right. That is most impressive. Now here, this is one that I'm really interested in. Over here, this lady right here is the shawl of Iran's wife. Very, very lovely woman, yes. Uh -huh. Back here in this corner, if you move it over, Cameron, back here, there's the sheik again. I understand that he was a bodyguard for the, the shawl's wife for three years, him and I and other fellas. That when is. President Kennedy went to Iran, he was also there as a bodyguard. When pre late President Johnson went to Iran, he was also there as a bodyguard. Now over here, there's a better picture of him. Like I say, he's young. This is 1968, 69 area. Yeah. There's the Shaw's wife, <clears throat> Well, right here again. Without so, the hair and add the mustache and add some weight, uh, uh, Mr. Cox, you are presenting here. Uh, Gordon, needless to say, the man is not from Saeed Arabia. He is Iranian. And I am right here as a very, very patriotic American. I served my country well. Let me, let me have these for further perusal, man. All right, yes. I, I would greatly appreciate it. I that, served my country well. I was decorated. And I don't appreciate a man of his caliber. What he's got to hide, I have no idea. What Jim Dillon has to hide, I have no idea. Apparently, both of them are hiding something. In other words, why lie is, is, the, is, the, is the entire thing that's here. That's exactly what you're doing, uh, and, lying. and why make Eric Embry out to be the liar when Eric Embry, in fact, is not you're lying. You're a liar! You're a liar! You're a vicious liar! You... Hey, wait a minute! Wait a minute! Wait a minute! Wait a minute! Oh, no. 
no, no, no. No, no this has got to stop. This has got to... Take those cameras to black. Take those cameras to black. 